The car test is one of the most important parts that's not necessary, but is somewhat necessary when it comes to releasing music. What is it? This is a question I've gotten a lot, especially from friends, family, even people online want to mention, oh, you know, I'm getting ready to release this album. You know, I just released a big album. My sixth full length album was 25 songs long. It took me three years called Las Vegas Experience. And I said, hey, before I release it, I have to do the car test. What is that? In plain English, super simple terms, all the car test is, is when you play the music, driving around in your car to hear how it sounds. That's all it is. And I don't know, in a funny way, actually, and I do and I don't know why, this is such a staple. You talk to any producer, any artist, you have to do the car test. And in some ways I get it from like a music perspective and also an engineering perspective, because if you think about it, when you're in your car, you're in an enclosed space, you know your car the best. It's a very, in a unique way, contained environment, right? Like even if I'm in a studio, Unless it's a very expensive studio, you might still have to deal with like background noise. Maybe someone drives by, maybe you have to deal with like other stuff in your room or whatever. But when you're in your car, I think it's a more contained environment. In a sense, you know, where you, you understand your car system, you understand the stereo, and you can very easily compare that album, that song, that EP to other songs. Yeah, you can do A-B testing in your studio, which you, which you should always do, comparing your songs to other songs. But it's about being in a car that has that right environment. I, I don't know. But also, on the other side, I don't know why it's such a thing. Like, I have a couple different theories behind this. My main one, honestly, as to why the car test is so popular, I think it's because when you're sitting and just listening to music, it's kind of, in a weird way, boring, right? What I mean is, if you're just sitting and trying to analyze your song, does it sound right? Is the mix down good? Does it hit hard enough? Is it catchy enough, et cetera, et cetera. I'm kind of just sitting there and like looking around and not really doing anything, right? But when you're driving, I think the driving part or the, 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 the just the whole process of driving kind of takes out that ADD part of your mind in a sense, where because the driving part of you driving is occupying that part of your mind of having to do something, you can almost focus in on the music more. I don't know how wide, I don't know if there's like some psychology behind this, but that is why, in my opinion, the car test is so popular. That so many artists, before they release a track, an album, an EP, whatever, I don't think, I can't remember the last time I released a song without listening to it in my car first. Maybe not in years, you know? I mean, every producer does this. It is a staple. If anything, the car test is the most important test and the most important sign of your music sounds good or not.